Shalom, Haverim. Hi, friends. It's so good to be back with you today. It is. It's always good to be with you. And today we're all three here. We've got my daughters, Mia Hi. and Olivia. Hi. I think that the last time we were all three together for one of these interactives, it was the first week, right? The second interactive, Create yeah. Your World. Yeah. That and seems, after the Teva walk. Yeah. That seems like a very long time ago oh, no. now. I remember another one. Which one? When we did the chalk outside. Oh, she's right. It was another art one. So maybe it was only a few weeks ago. Good memory. Okay. Today, we're really excited. We are doing a story share. So for this story share, what you're going to do is between your family members that are going to take part in it, you're going to pick a topic. So it could be like a Bible story you want to write about. Or it could a be. Holiday. Yep. It could be a holiday. What else could it be? Maybe it could be. Like just a random oh, theme, no. like a value. Yeah. Like writing totally. about, like last time we talked about Shalom Bayit, peace in the house. It could be about like your life together at or home. Or I remember when I was with you in one of the videos, we did something about Hineini. Hineini, that was a good one. Here I am. You could do a story about anything. So the story we decided to do today is. Go if ahead. I lived on Noah's Ark. If I lived on Noah's that. Ark. Right. So we made. Are the author and illustrator's names, which is the three of us, and we did a little drawing and we titled it. So me and Livia are gonna tell you what types of materials you want, but before they do, remember, as long as you have anything close to it, whatever you have around the house is okay. Go ahead. So we're gonna need some scissors, um, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Great, what else? You're also gonna need a notebook. You can design the cover if you want, you don't have to. Um, glue, if you only need glue if, let's say like you wanna do a picture, like you wanna print a picture instead of draw it, or you could do both, or you could just draw. That's true, oh, go ahead. And, and yeah. you can also use colored paper if you wanna do like a design out of the white paper. Mm -hmm. Then you might also need the glue, right? Or oh, tape. Yeah. You could use tape. What would happen, I wonder, if I didn't have like a notebook or journal lying around the house? You could put a bunch of you paper to so that your yeah. That if was you, your idea too? Yeah, because okay. I, one time for school, I had to make a book, book and yeah, and you take paper and you just staple and yeah. it's a book. That's true, we could even use a hole punch or make a ribbon around it. So you be as creative as you want to be. Okay, but we've got our journal titled, If I Lived on Noah's Ark. So now I wonder, we're gonna start one page at a time. Livia's gonna go first. She's gonna write one sentence on the first page and either start to draw something or glue a picture down of something. I'm gonna have to then follow on the second page based on what she wrote and then Mia on the third, Livia on the fourth, fifth. Okay, it keeps going like that until you feel like your story's finished. Now, I wonder while Livia's thinking about what she's gonna write on the first page, if I lived on Noah's Ark, is I Noah? Is it Noah's wife? Is it an animal? She's gonna get to pick the direction of this story. So let's see. And whatever she picks, we all have to follow. We do. We can add detail, but we have to go with what she writes on the first and page. This one, I think you forgot to say, what but is... you need other people and just yourself. That's because true. Otherwise, you're just gonna make up the whole story. Right, which is also a fun activity, but it's not quite a story share. I guess unless you write it and then share it with other people. So go ahead. Maybe you can tell us what you're writing as you write it so our friends can hear. So if, I'm going to start with If I Lived on Noah's Ark, so, because that's the title of the story. Good idea. I wonder what she's going to pick. I wonder. Hmm, if she lived on Noah's Ark, do you think she'd want to be Noah? She does kind of like to be in charge, right? Yeah. Hmm. She does love animals, so maybe yeah. she would pick an animal. Hmm. I wonder if you're choosing a Bible story. What Bible? What other Bible stories could we have chosen? The, um, hmm. What else might have been interesting? I have to think about that one. Hmm. Adam and Eve? Yeah. We could have lived in the Garden of Eden. Hmm. And then the bad apple. Ooh, we could have been the apple. Or the snake. Yeah. We could have been baby Moses in the basket or, or grown up Moses. Or, could have been Pharaoh. Or Miriam. Of the mm, that's true. You know what would be fun too if you're Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Code? Okay, so if you lived on Noah's Ark, what are you going to tell us? What are you going to be? I need to finish writing it. Okay, we just want to make sure our friends are following along. 
So maybe you could tell them what you're writing. And also, I'm still you know, in the middle of writing because I keep switching colors, so it's taking a little while to write if I lived on there was art. Oh, so she wants it to be very artistic. What were you, you know what say? would be really fun to hmm. imagine? What? If we were in the any Bible store and we pretended to be God. Ooh, I wonder what that would be like to be God. That would be another cool story. This activity you could do over and over again and every book could be new. You know what you could even do? What? Because we probably won't need every page. We could have titled this book, If I Lived During Biblical Times, and then did or all different stories. Story share and did a bunch of different stories and like, on the first page you write the story for that one. That's true, and put little tabs. I, this could, there are endless possibilities for what this and could be. And you can still do it, because that could be the title for that one. And that's true, go. okay, so let's see what Livia's gonna do, and then we'll pass it on. Because if I lived on Noah's Ark, I would be... Here it comes. <laughs> Okay, Livia did a giraffe. Here we go. What's your favorite animal? Mine's a giraffe. Mine is probably a dog or a monkey. What's yours? Hmm. I like dolphins and monkeys, actually. Dolphins my favorite sea animal, but mm. I like giraffes as my favorite land animal. And I like monkeys as my favorite like wild animal, but I love dogs as my favorite pet. Oh, we love our dog, our Kelev. Do you remember he barked in one of our last videos? Yeah. I think it was the I one with the shadow. Oh no, mm. mine broke. Any? No, not any. Hold uh, on. Can I you... bring my husband. Giraffe with me. You know why? Because how many of each animal went on to Noah's Ark? Do you remember? Two. 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 They bring two of every animal into the ark, right? Stein. Stein, right. And do you know why they bring two of every animal onto the ark? Because every animal has a pair. Well, yeah, but why do you think if if the whole earth would be kind of wiped out except for Noah, his wife, and two of every animal, what would need to yeah. happen after the flood? They have to eat. So maybe if they have two, hmm. and they need ani two think animals... Do you guys have any ideas? Think far right. beyond that. What would have to happen after the flood? Well, they have to make new, right? They have to make babies. So they have to make babies, more animals and more people so we could repopulate the earth, right? Okay, yeah. so now Mia's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna pass this over. Let's see what she is gonna write see. about. Okay, I think I have an idea I'm gonna write about. What I saw when I first got on the ship. I wonder what well, it was. Well, when we first got on the mm, ship. Yeah, you, you and your husband. <laughs> so, I wrote, when we first got on the ship, we saw tons of leaves. And I could show you the picture. I, I bet we were hungry. It. Yeah. And Ooh. leaves are giraffe, one of giraffe's favorite foods. Okay, now that we're fed, I wonder what's going to happen when Livia giraffe... Ooh. Starts. Let's see what she writes in. And I got something from another video that we made. Let's see. Can you guys guess what it is? Mm. Maybe it's the. What other things do it? Parfait? Do you think she's gluing in a parfait? No. Probably not. Mongol bread? Maybe we just ate the parfait. No. Oh, we did eat the parfait. I, yeah. I think we ate. Mm. Some of the okay, we'll bread. think and you think, and we'll see you as soon as she's done with her page. So I just finished mine, and did you guys guess what it is? The frog! Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know. That was the... So it one. says, yeah. I met my very first best friend named Miss Froggy. Ooh. With that little frog. And now it's my turn. I wonder what else you're going to write. 
we finished our book, right? Yeah. yeah. And I that was so fun. It was so fun. And I was surprised you guys, but we'll wait for that till the end. We will. We wonder if you finished your story and if maybe you'll send us some videos or pictures of it to share what you wrote. Okay, are you ready to hear ours? If I lived on Noah's Ark by Sarah, Mia, and Olivia. If I lived on Noah's Ark, I would be a giraffe. I would bring my husband giraffe with me. When we first got on the ship, we saw tons of leaves. I met my very first best friend named Miss Froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. Even though I'm so tall and she's so small, we went on many adventures together. Let's see. On our first adventure, we visited Noah and his wife. After that adventure, we went to Zesty the Zebra, uh, another friend's house on the ark, and we had a spot of tea, spot of peppermint tea. <laughs> <laughs> they became British. <laughs> Our favorite adventure was staying up late and laughing. I bet that'd be fun on the ark, right? Yeah. But maybe not, not for ago. so long. Mm, maybe not for 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. It's kind of like how long we've been here. I think it's been about 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. <laughs> After the flood was over, we stayed friends forever. Aww. And do you guys want to hear the surprise, Romo? We decided not to write the end. You know why? Why? Because after all of this is over and we can go out of our houses again, we're going to put our story into Lev Children's Museum and, and the rest of the pages. Can, what? You guys can finish the story. If you guys come by after, you guys can write in the story and finish it. Yep. Yeah, you can each write a different page and we'll continue the story until the end of the book. Right? And then we can start a new one. Awesome. Can't wait. Okay, our next um, interactive is going to be on... Oh! Well, ours is on Friday for Shabbat Shabaking, where we're going to make some really yummy Israeli flags. But before that, we have another episode of Kid Creatives. It's airing on Thursday. Don't forget to watch. Okay, until next time. I mean, time. you oh. guys can be a Kid Creative one week. Yep, if you haven't sent us in one yet, feel free to send it in. Until next time, the heat trial, Kaverim. See you soon, friends. friends.